Hi, I'm Mark the Vet, and we're here at Discover Dogs 2010 with... Debbie Connolly. And Debbie, you do what? I do animal behaviour, dogs, cats and livestock mostly. Dogs, cats and livestock? Oh yes, there's plenty of naughty goats need my help. Really, interesting. Um, now my main concern obviously at uh, Discover Dogs as well is about puppy farming and how we can tackle this serious issue. What's, uh, what's your take on it? It's an issue that affects us all. In the world of behaviour I'm in, we have to deal with the, the psychological issues and the dangerous issues that occur because people bought badly in the first place. And you're talking about the traditional things you're already familiar with. You're talking about um, poor quality breeding, no socialising, half litters put together. You, you really are talking about serious psychological damage even before they're even sold to anybody. Why do people buy these pups in the first place? I have very strong views about this, as you know. I believe that a, a large number of these buyers do so on purpose because it's a ask no questions, hand over your money. And quite often I've met people who've bought who've been turned down by the good breeders and the breeder said not suitable, wrong dog for you and they simply don't want to know. They will not learn the lesson and say thank you for saving me or a dog, they'll get one anyway. So there are a number of these people who do it on purpose. I've heard there's some scams around to, to con people out of money for puppies, tell us about some of them. Well I heard some of your talk yesterday where you mentioned the scams and, and, I, and I did crack a smile at that because there's lots and lots of them. Fortunately a lot of the stat scams you see where it, it's a pedigree dog free to good home, you look for key words like shots instead of vaccinations, uh, uh, de-sexed instead of neutered. Those are Americanisms that sadly are the, the American, the, sorry, the African scams that actually come over. There aren't any dogs fortunately, so one of the simple scams is an advert for a dog that doesn't even exist. The other scams are people pretending to be you know, a kennel club accredited breeder when they're not, pretending the dogs are registered when it's not a kennel club registration. And I am not a fan of any other registration other than the kennel club's registration. It's the only really valid one. Um, I know you've just started up your new website. Tell us a bit about that. I have. Um, ethicalbreeding.com is the new website. As I'm somebody who lives in a world of cats as well as dogs, and it's probably safe to mention that here, um, sadly, kitten farming is becoming an issue as well. The same overbreeding problems, the same lack of social skills, falsifying registrations, unregistered kittens. In the world of pedigree cats, kitten farming is becoming as big an issue now. So my site, ethicalbreeding.com, actually shows breeders of cats and dogs who register properly I've checked them out I know a lot of them personally and I can say I know they're going to follow up and do the right health tests sell you the right animal for a lifetime that's fantastic that's ethicalbreeding.com yes and just just finally what are your golden rules of buying a puppy or choosing a puppy or searching for one we all know the classics see the puppy with its parents mm -hmm. They don't always have the stud dog because the right stud dog could be the other side of the country and they went to it to get the right stud to be used. So sometimes you can't see the father but you should at least see the mother, you should see proof of registration and you should be happy that the environment that the puppy's in is the right one and you're comfortable. If you are, it's probably a good breeder. And if you're unsure, walk away? Walk away, absolutely. Walk away, ask people like you and I whether we think the circumstances were right and whether we would say we would buy from them. And together we can stop the demand and, and puppy farm. Absolutely, and it needs to be stopped. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you, Mark. Cheers.